Hey gang, Major Bacon here. I want to help you with a really basic problem that may actually open up some other opportunities for you to empower yourself in terms of management using group policy. Now, a problem that was brought up to me is I need to use a larger mouse cursor across the board. All right, so I need, maybe this is for an environment where people are visually impaired, maybe it's for younger or older folks who are better able to use a mouse if the pointer itself is just bigger, the cursor is bigger. Well, you can change that locally, of course, using the control panel, but you want to blast that out with group policy so that all users default to a larger size. How can we do this with group policy? Well, let me show you how exactly I'd go about that. I'm going to jump over here to my domain controller. And on our domain controller, we'll launch the Group Policy Management Console. Here in the GPMC, you can see we've got a policy here called Logon Experience that is going out to the whole domain. Sounds like a logical place to make a change like this. We'll edit that policy. And of course, what we're talking about is a user experience. So settings are going to be down here under User Configuration. What we find is that when we go to administrative templates, which is where the majority of registry settings will be found for most configurations, uh, there's nothing about mouse here, right? We've got printers, personalization, display. Under personalization, mm, I've got screen si saver. Prevent changing mouse pointers, right? We've got things to lock it down, but nothing to actually set what it is that I would like with regard to a mouse. Hmm, okay. So then I go to preferences because I think to myself, ooh, I've got all these new options available with preferences. Let's go to the control panel settings there and no dice. All right, none of these are going to be what I need. How about under Windows settings? Hmm, nothing I see directly, but remember, when you change in the control panel the value for a mouse, let me go ahead and do so. Uh, come in here, mouse. And let me just, as an example, change this local machine to use a larger mouse pointer. And I'll set it to Windows Standard, Extra Large. What I'm really doing is pointing in the registry a whole bunch of settings to point to the correct files. Right? So we've got various different sizes, L for large, and so I'm referencing I want the large size cursor. Okay? So, Extra Large System Scheme. Right? You can see now I'm using a bigger mouse. So here's what I can do using group policy preferences to make my life easier. In this registry node, I can come in here and I can manually configure any registry item I want. But here's a more awesome way to do this. I'm going to choose the registry wizard. The registry wizard will let me suck in the settings for any part of the registry from the local computer or, if firewalls allow, from a remote computer. Since I just configured the mouse pointer here locally, I'll use the local computer. And I happen to know where it's located, so this will be pretty quick for us, but it's going to be under H key current user, control panel, makes sense, cursors, like that. And what I'm going to select is all of these little individual registry values. I'm going to set these all. And notice there they are, cross L, help L, it's all the large size values that are currently set up in the registry. And that's what I want to apply to every user who logs on, who receives this group policy preference. All right, got them all. So we'll finish that. And you can see that what we now have is registry, wizard values, H key current user, control panel, cursors. And there's all those settings pointing to all the correct locations. So now that that's in place, Remember with group policy, as soon as you make a change in policy and click OK, it's saved into the policy file. So the next time someone logs on, they should be able to get that experience. So let me log off of that environment and let's log back in again. Applying the registry policy there and voila, hey look, big fat pointer. Gang. I didn't have to log on twice, it happened immediately, and it happened because of the fact that I was using the group policy preferences to inject into the registry the correct values. And I can allow for, because this is a group policy preference, uh, if as an end user I come in here into mouse and go to pointers, I can change this value. Right? This is different unless I use that other group policy setting that prevents users from coming in here and changing this. The end user can come in and configure their mouse cursor if they would like. So if they're like, you know what, 
everyone uses large, but for me, I need to use the inverted large to make my life easier. Great, feel free to switch to that if you'd like. All right, so that's an option for us. The other, uh, the other controls, of course, that you have because it's a group policy preference are right in there. In the group policy preferences themselves, you can control kind of how sticky this setting happens to be. So we'll go into the registry, registry wizard values, the properties, and again, uh, we can choose. Uh, let me actually get down to. This will have to be done at the key level. There we go. Uh, we can choose to apply once and do not reapply. But the default is the user could make their change to inverted, and it would then at next logon go back to the setting that you chose. So flexibility, but no longer uh, no longer needed. And but uh, the default behavior uh, it works that way. You could change that and say apply once and do not reapply, meaning you set it and once that's been applied to a particular user account uh, on a system, if that user modifies it, then they get to keep their customization. So this sets the defaults for all users to use that large cursor, but does not uh, require them to use it if they don't want to after the fact. Again, one of the great things about preferences over policies when that's the way you want things to work. Hope that helps, gang. If you have any questions, email me at jacob.moran at live.com.